hey, hey, how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny video. Well, it is August 1st. Destiny 2 is a month away, but more importantly, we got a weekly reset to get on into. So without further ado, let's jump right on into it. Starting things off for your weekly featured raid, we are going to have the King's Fall raid. We're going to have modifiers with the Golgoroth challenge, the Oryx challenge, and the War Priest challenge. Make sure you get with your fire team and get your Age of Triant ornaments or whatever it is you're trying to grind out for this week. Moving on to the challenge of elders, we have the super kill bonus, ironclad, and juggler. Get legendary ingram and 10 legendary marks for your first three runs. The weekly nightfall strike is going to be the abomination heist with modifiers of solar burn, specialist, ironclad, exposure, and daybreak. Daybreak, if you guys don't know, is basically where your supers and grenades and abilities charge very, very fast, and they are going to be doing this right up to the launch of Destiny 2, I believe, for every single nightfall that we have from here, again, until the launch of Destiny 2. The SIVA Crisis Heroic Strike playlist has modifiers of Heroic, Fresh Troops, Airborne, and Catapult. Rewards will get you a treasure of ages for your first run and 10 legendary marks for your first three runs. The weekly story playlist is modifiers this week of Heroic, Solar Burn, and Catapult. Again, you will get one Treasure of Ages on your first run, and you will get 20 Legendary Marks for your first five runs for a total of 100 Legendary Marks. And this time around, we are going to be in the Taken War mission playlist. Alright, and over in the Crucible, we have got the Doubles playlist. You're going to get a Treasure of Ages for doing it at least one time, as well as 10 Legendary Marks for your first couple of runs. Now, this is a placeholder, I do believe, at 10 a.m. Pacific. We have got Iron Banner coming back. I have no clue exactly what items are going to be available for sale. We're just going to have to wait until 10 a.m. Pacific time to go and check that out. And then when that happens, I believe this placeholder right here will be held with Iron Banner instead. So moving on to the others, we have got Control, Supremacy, Elimination, Salvage, and Good Old Rumble. Head on over to the Iron Temple to go see Tira Karn and see what artifacts she has got for us this week. So, we have got the Memory of Shoulder with a Discipline and Strength roll. Removes your Sprint Cooldown penalty. Actually, it's a really, really good roll. I think it's like 95 to 97%, I think. Anyway, Discipline, Strength, really good stat roll. If you need a Memory Shoulder, make sure you pick it up. We also have the Memory of Silmar with an Intellect and Discipline roll. In the Crucible, resistance to damage over time attacks is greatly increased. And last up, we have got the Memory of Scory with a straight intellect roll. When your super is full, kills cause nearby ally supers to recharge faster. Alright guys, and down in the tower, make sure you pop on over and see Shax to pick up both of his bounties. So we have a Hunt for Glory, this is going to be in the Supremacy Match type playlist, as well as Taking Control, and I believe that you'll absolutely want to pick this one up because Iron Banner, I believe, is going to be Control this time around. And you're going to get Nightfall tier rewards for both of these, so you may as well pick them up and do them, guys. In our Crucible Quartermaster bounty is over here. We have got the Auto Rifle, Hand Cannon Kills, Shotgun, Sidearm, and heavy weapons. I know, only one most people are worried about is the hand cannon, so make sure you pick it up if you're still looking for that god roll. Alright, moving right on into the weapon reset with the Crucible Quartermaster. Take a look at this Hero Formula Scout Rifle. We have got Hidden Hand, you can go Braced Frame or Armor Piercing, but Braced Frame and Zen Moment. This thing is going to be a laser, guys. We got the MD Reflex, Focus Lens, FLA-5, and the OEG. Not the best scopes, but if you're looking for a really accurate kind of heavy hitting scout rifle, this one is not going to be bad, guys. Definitely think about picking it up. And let's see, we always want to take a look at the palindrome regardless of the roll. This time we have got reactive reload, which is not bad. Rifle barrel, very, very nice. Triple tap, spray and play. All right, this could have a little bit better combination right here, but still a pretty good one. We have the True Sight, so that's awesome. Fast Draw and Quick Draw. So one of my favorite scopes to go along with this. Really good PvE roll, actually, guys. Probably uh, think about going with that Triple Tap if you're taking this into PvE. And over at the Vanguard Quartermaster, he has a couple of interesting ones here. First one I wanted to look at was the Angel's Advocate. At first glance, it doesn't look that great. Reactive Reload, Small Bore, 
armor piercing rounds, outlaw, and mulligan. But the main thing I really like how it synergizes well together is going to be the reactive reload and outlaw perks. Every time you get a, you kill somebody and do a reload, you get that additional bonus. And Outlaw is just going to make sure if that was a precision kill, you're going to reload that weapon very quickly. So you have less downtime, more time to do some killing. Also, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the Partheon Shot Pulse Rifle. Not the best roll, but not bad. I always like glass half full on those uh, heavy hitting pulse rifles, so that is a welcome change. You know, a small bore or rifle barrel both have good options here. But with small bore, you will lose at least one full burst by taking a decreased magazine size. Up next, we've got Rodeo or Feeding Frenzy. These are both going to be good. Uh, one's going to be for your reload, of course, Feeding Frenzy. But Rodeo will probably be the overall better pick for you, as it's going to help you keep the control of that sway of that weapon while you're firing down to a minimum. And the sights, you got the MD Reflex, Sure Shot IS, and the OEG. So if you guys are looking for a similar type of weapon, make sure you pick it up. And my fellow friends over in Z Dead Orbit, what are you selling this week? Okay, so the Extremophile 01 Auto Rifle with Hidden Hand, Hammer Farged, Crowd Control, Flared Magwell, Hip Fire with Reflex, Steady Hand, and OEG. Alright, uh, yeah, nothing to see here. Nothing super great. It's not a bad roll, but with the extreme file, you need a really good boost to stability, and this one just doesn't have enough of it. So, I'd actually think about passing up on this guy this week. Now, the Future War Cult is up next, and they have got a couple of weapons that we need to take a look at. One in particular. So, let's, uh... Start things off with the Wormwood. Everyone knows that this is usually a great roll. Uh, okay, let's see. We got Hidden Hand and Hand Loaded. Zen Moment. Go with the Hand Loaded. High Caliber Round. Perfect for the Stagger. And uh, Steady Hand Sure Shot with the best sight in the game. And uh, Quick Draw. So yeah, another God Roll Wormwood. So if you don't have one by now, I just assume you haven't been playing the game and you're not even watching this video. But, for those of you who don't fall into that category, if you need a good sidearm, make sure you pick this guy up. And the main event I wanted to show you guys, it's back! The Warpath Rocket Launcher with the Absolute God PvE Roll. Let's take a look at it. That's going to be with the Cluster Bombs, Tripod, and Field Scout combination. Also, Confirm Launch, Soft Launch to get that extra velocity, as well as Hard Launch to help with that. This is going to be the single most damaging weapon for Axis when you guys are doing that raid and as well as a few other big big boss encounters as well. Reason why we found out that the cluster bombs because of how many different places they're going to hit that on certain enemies this will do more damage than the dark drinker or anything else you can throw at it. Trust me when I tell you you guys want a rocket launcher that is either this one this week or one that already has the exact same role. It's uh, if you're wanting it for that uh, purpose, so you need to make sure that it has these perks to maximize it. Cluster Bomb, Tripod, and Field Scout. Okay guys, so if you need a just fantastic PvE rocket launcher, this Warpath is about as god roll as you are going to get. Alright, and New Monarchy, what have you guys got in store for us? I know usually we're disappointed it's not your fault it really isn't it's the weapons that they give you the same weapons every week and even the god roll on any of these weapons is not that great it's not your fault i know it's not you this is just what you have to offer i know don't look at me that way okay let's take a look and see what you got the assembly 2 auto rifle if it doesn't have maximum stability increases we're out of here crowd control persistence is always decent flared magwell lightweight reflex quick draw oeg yeah, not the greatest on that one. You guys know that uh, main reason I like to look at him is for this right here. The Desposition 7 Sniper Rifle. And we have Firefly, which is never bad. Skip Brands. Oh, Quick Draw. Okay. Perfect Bounds. Not horrible. Wild Hawk Longview. Yeah, not good sight. So, so yeah, I hate to say it, guys, but again... We really can't recommend anything for the new monarchy this time around. Maybe in the future.
All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful or useful. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. And if you guys want to improve your game and stay up to date on all the latest Destiny and Destiny 2 news, make sure you also smack that subscribe button and turn that notification on so you will be the first to be notified when anything new comes out. But as always, Guardians, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Maybe in the future.